So our third and final paper craft project in this kit is the birdhouse. And we need the birdhouse template, the roof pieces, which are the three pieces of patterned paper. They are all the same patterned paper. Um, I'll show you that we'll, we, they're double sided though. So we're gonna put one one way, one the other way, and then the third one like this, just so that the, it, the roof stands out. Then again, in this little envelope, you have got some small pieces. You have another piece of acetate. This is to go on the inside of the window, again, so that anything you put inside doesn't fall out. You've got a circle, a leaf, a bird, little bird's wing, which is in the patterned paper for the reef, a couple of flowers and some gems. Okay, so that we uh, don't lose a couple of these bits, let's uh, work on this first of all. So let's give the bird his wing. And I'm just gonna do that by putting a little dab of glue on here and sitting the wing on top like that. And then we're going to give the bird the smaller of the two gems as an eye. So there's our bird ready to be by his birdhouse. Then for our flower, we have two of these little flowers. Now, depending on which kit you get, there are two different uh, versions of the kit. There's this color, and then there's also uh, one that has an orange flower with it. That's just because I didn't have um, enough pattern paper the same to do all the kits the same. So take either the pink or orange flower, depending on which kit you have. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the larger of the two gems into the center of the flower, like that, of one of the flowers. Then sort of fold that up with your fingers like that. And then pop a little bit of glue on the back of it and put it in the center of the other flower. So there's our flower ready. So we're gonna put all of these pieces to one side while we work on our birdhouse. So to make our birdhouse, we're gonna start with our net and this line has already been folded, but we're going to fold along all of these other vertical and horizontal lines. Okay, once all of our horizontal and vertical lines have been folded, we're going to do some diagonal folds. Now you can see there's already some scoring here. You want to just ignore that scoring for now because we're going to do some, some, diff some different folds. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold, we're going to draw some diagonal lines here. I'll show you on this one. And we're going to be doing some folds like this to create our birdhouse roof. It might help to draw these in pencil before you attempt to fold them. So let's first draw in our fold lines.
Okay, now that we've done our fold lines in pencil, what we can do is lay our ruler along them and just lift up the card because we're going to be folding them just there, just until we meet that crease there. Same so again on this side, put the ruler where the fold line is going to be and then lift up the card just to fold it. And here. Okay, so now that all of our folds are done, we're going to turn our attention to the inside and to creating the acetate window. In your kit, you have a piece of acetate. What we're going to do is we're going to put some glue around the outside of the window here, on the inside of the box, and glue our acetate down. Once the acetate is glued down, we're going to turn the flap over and add some glue to that. And then we're going to fold our box in half to join it together. Okay. Now that you've done these folds, you could rub out the pencil lines. Okay. The next step is to create our the floor of our box. So we're going to fold the back piece in. We're then going to add some glue to the inside of this piece that has a circle cut out of it and fold that over. Let me put your finger on it or something on the inside. Glue it on the inside just to push it up. And then to finish off, fold the two flaps down with a bit of glue to hold the bottom in place. And our box is constructed. Now all we need to do is create our roof shape. And to do that, what we're going to do is these folds lines that we made earlier, we're going to fold in. And it's like a sort of milk carton. In fact, this is a milk carton die. And you can see how that the fold makes that go in and creates our roof shape. Okay. To finish off our roof though, we're going to need our pattern pieces. What we're going to do, this is the first, this is the base of the roof. So we're going to fold it in half with the flower pattern on the outside, matching up the circles. There's our first piece. The next one, we're gonna fold the other direction so that we've got a different pattern showing. And what we're going to do is we're going to curve those end pieces out, but we're going to pop some glue just on the inside there at the top. And that's going to glue onto our first roof. And then the same with the last one, this time pat the, the flowers on the outside. Again, some glue on the inside of the roof pieces and sit it on top. Okay, so there's our roof. And once we've filled our box, we can then glue that on top to create our birdhouse roof. 
Okay. The reason you've got this is to put that some of this inside your box. This is actually the perfect size. If you don't put too much of this in, this is the perfect size to take um, a small, uh, like a lint egg, that sort of thing. So then finally to decorate the front of our box, first of all, we're going to add some glue to this circle. This is our little window frame. And just glue that around the window. Then we want our little branch. Again, a little bit of glue. We're going to pop our flower that we made on. Just here. And then finally, our bird. Put some glue on the back of it and have him sitting in front of his window. Now let's imagine we filled it up. We can then glue this part closed. What we then do is we add glue to this and we glue on our roof. And that is our finished birdhouse.